Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong for yournextstamp.com. Today we're going to be making this fun gift card holder made out of cardstock and fuzzy felt for a nice homespun feel. And I've done it in Christmas colors, but of course you could go ahead and do it in blues or any color you want really for winter. So let's get started. I'm using the Stitch Rectangle die set from Your Next Stamp, and this is the fourth from the largest. I've cut out a rectangle of green felt and heavy white cardstock for the backing and of course I have my gift card. Then I have this winter mitten die set which has three pieces and it only has one mitten but you just turn it over and it cuts the other um, you turn over your die cut and it's facing the other direction. So I've cut that out from red cardstock and also red felt and I've cut the trim and snowflakes out from white felt. And I've got a needle already threaded with two strands of embroidery floss and it has a knot on the end and I'm gonna start stitching my mitten edges. Let me move all of that junk out of the way and zoom in and let me just apologize right up front. I'm not very good at filming really close up so please excuse all the times I go off camera. So I'm just doing a basic running stitch here which is up from the back and then go down a little ways away to the back from the front and continue on. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the felt that I'm using. This is a wool blend felt. It's nice and thick and die cuts really well with our YNS dies. Um, please don't get the really cheap polyester felt from the craft store. It's really thin and stringy, doesn't cut well, and it doesn't look as nice. So um, you're going to go all the way around with that same running stitch. And I've gone ahead and finished that off camera. And now I'm going to take my piece of trim, which looks like a little bit of rickrack, and I'm going to sew that on. And because it extends out to the sides, I'm going to tuck those little ends in through the back. I'm sorry, I just went off camera again. And um, I'm going to stick it through both of those layers just to get it tacked down at the end. And then I'm going to do that same um, kind of running stitch, except it's going kind of according to the trim. So it's a little bit of a zigzag stitch, but it's still... Um, that simple one I used to go around the whole mitten. And of course I've sped this up so you don't have to watch it forever. Uh, but I just wanted you to see that I am going kind of following the, the zigzag of the trim. And then when I get to the other end I'm going to fold that to the back and then make sure I catch that with my needle so it's tacked down. If when you're stitching you happen to not catch that end and it flaps out, go ahead and just tack it down with a little bit of glue on the back and that'll be fine. So I'm just going to tie my thread in a knot and cut that off. And now I'm going to use my piece of red cardstock to go on the back and what that does is it makes the mitten a little bit stiffer and more sturdy and it also hides all of the knots and the back of the stitching and the ends of the trim and everything. It just gives it a really nice finished back um, because part of the back is going to be showing I didn't really want that trim or you know all of that stuff showing so I put that backing on and it does also keep your gift card from getting snagged on the threads in the back of the mittens. And now I'm taking the snowflake and instead of stitching it because this is just so unbelievably small and delicate, I'm actually using some multi mat medium in a little needle tip squeeze bottle to glue that down. And I don't know if you could use your tacky glue. It might show if you uh, don't put it down correctly, which I didn't there. Um, the mat, multi-medium dries mat, and it really didn't show. Wishing you lots of tasty treats this holiday season is from the Waddles Food Truck Holiday Editions. 
and I'm inking that up with VersaFine Onyx Black ink on my small Martha Stewart footed stamp press and stamping that down and I'm actually using a piece of watercolor cardstock here because it's nice and heavy and so it's a little bumpy and it didn't get stamped all the way so I had to line that up with my head all up in the camera so I kind of skipped that part but there you see my head there because I was just checking to make sure it did go all the way and then I'm gonna do that same running stitch or straight stitch or whatever it's called around my green felt piece and I'm gluing in my knots to make sure they don't stick out the sides and then gluing all over the back of my green felt so that I can attach my watercolor cardstock and that's gonna make it so it's sturdier and also hides all of that stitching on the back just like I did with the mittens and now I've got my two finished mittens and I'm gonna put them down where I want them and then I'm gonna go and glue them on the edges and make sure you only put the glue on the edges if you put it inside of the edges your gift card may not be able to slide in so just a little bit on the edges and then a little bit on the overlap to keep them together and then a bit on the bottom to keep the gift card from falling out the bottom and you set that aside to dry and then you can see once it's dry that gift card fits nicely into your little pocket area and you can leave off the stitching and just glue everything together and this would make a really quick and fun present um, I think it's just a really nice way to present a gift card so I hope you like it and we'll hope to see you over at yournextstamp.com for these and many other fun products and thank you very much for watching